Hey guys, this is Chad Lab here. It's Cat Lab here. Hey guys, it's Cat Lab here. Remember I told you guys in previous videos that we're actually gonna be moving soon and today is the pack up day. Now, everything is everywhere and I mean everywhere. So far what we have right now is we're trying to mill out soft jaws. Right, these are for a coin that I do, and I'd be glad to show you guys exactly how I do it. Actually, I'm going to do like a tutorial on how I do certain stuff for you guys. I'm just planning for the future and just talking for, you know, just, you know, future projects or, you know, what I'm planning to do as far as, you know, with this uh, channel. So I'm going to be running a special mother tribute, uh, kind of like tombstone shape, but it's going to be like a pendant or like keychain. Hold, uh, holder so I'm here I'm moving and I'm also programming and I'm also trying to get something cutting on the 440 this little 440 is gonna have a big brother I'm not gonna tell you what the big brother's name is but it's definitely gonna be a big brother so I'm over here trying to cut this titanium and literally everything has been going hectic as you can see like everything is everywhere and it, it's pretty crazy like we shut down the shop TV and sandblaster, I gotta take that out, move that outside, wash it. Um, the whole entire area is pretty much shut down. And I'm hearing something funny in the background. So guess who decides they wanna just up and snap that they had enough, they quit. <laughs> Saw blade just snapped, no problem. So I'll tell you what guys, I'm gonna be heading to Lowe's. I'm gonna try to run and get that saw blade. And we're going to be uh, starting up the mom again. My little brother's actually taking me to the store. Smooth guy. <laughs> that was my little sister. She's a pain in the, you know what? I swear she could drive. That's my little bro, Ainge. What's up, bro? What's going on? Let's get out of here. Let's go to Lowe's. So right now I'm looking for a 24 teeth per inch. Because when you cut titanium with 18 inches per tooth or 18 or 14 inches per tooth, it does a piss poor job. We have arrived. We have arrived. And we're about to get this uh, bandsaw blade so we can get cutting and working on that mom. Mind you, my brother almost killed me twice. I didn't say anything, but deep down inside, I was doing one of these. Yeah, you can't mess with the driver while he's driving. That's a bunch of bull. I, I was just telling him a story, and he cut off a school bus <laughs> and and ran a red light doing 45 miles an hour. All right, we're here. All right, guys, see you in the store. I'm sir. Nice Hello. To meet. Good. Good, how are you? That's the new hero. Oh, hold on. It's a black seven. Ah, oh, this is the best water in the world. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend it. You can only buy it at Lowe's and Home Depot, nowhere else. Hey, Tool World. Tool World is down to the left with a bandsaw. Tool World. The world's full of tools. It's not even, it's not even like a, like a specific area. You heard her directions, right? Ah, uh, no. She said straight down to the. <laughs> <laughs> she said go straight down and at the end on the wall. To the left. To the left. <laughs> That's funny. Perfect. Oh, dude, this is what we need right here in the shop. Tool world. Okay, the directions seem like they worked out. Where'd it go? Ah. Uh, are we not following directions? My bad, I wanted to get the sign to Tool World. That. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, hey, you know what? Um, what? What are we doing wrong? Um, we came here for a. Oh, place, place. Yes. 
You forgot why we came here? A bandsaw blade, right? You forgot. <laughs> These are, these are table saw blades. Bandsaw blades. Bandsaw blades. Bandsaw blades. See anything? No, I see a lot of blades. Yeah, for real. That's for sure. Damn. Maybe we should ask for help. This is the tool world. Um, Damn. What type of machine are we working on with that? I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Okay. I can't stop trying to give away my cookies. <laughs> Dude, but this is a massive, and it's 949. This is massive. This is all. This is awesome. All right, bandsaw, bandsaw, bandsaw. I see an employee right hold there. On, hold on, hold on, Bosch. Bosch. He said he said the blades were Bosch too. Yeah, I think we got somebody. What do you say? I think we got somebody. Yeah. He went over there. All right, let's go get him. Hey, Hoffman, hey, by any chance, do you know where the band saw up there? What's that? Um, we have some Bosch makes them. We look them up. Okay. Those are the ones I have. Just, if you know the size, you got it. This is the guy right here. It's gonna be 64. 40, uh, I think 24. Okay. Ah, we getting them. Dude, don't tell me we passed it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Bro, you looked right at it too. Oh wow! Let's record the guy who looked right at it. Nah. He looked. <laughs> he looked right at it, bro. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Okay. Thank you. So, how does that feel to know it saw you first? Hey, at least we got it though. Yeah, for real. All right, guys. So check this out. Right. This car runs pretty much with the key sitting in the dash or in, in the console. Hey, these are one of our back plates that we made. Super saucy. All right, so now we're officially stuck. He gave the keys to my mom who wanted to use my truck, right? We drove all the way to Lowe's. All right, you see Lowe's? Drove all the way to Lowe's with no key the whole entire time. We get out the car and he says, hey, look, hey, did you grab the key? So I go looking for the key and this guy literally no handed them to our mother to drive my truck. Might as well waste time. Waste time. Wow. Make sure you lock the car. Yeah. How am I going to lock the car with no key? Oh my God. So I can't believe that. Right now we're pretty much carless with a car. Look at him. We're sitting here stuck again with no keys. Look at him. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're literally we've been sitting here for like 15 20 minutes fully functional car but can't go anywhere because this guy gave my mom our only way to get home she's here though she's here though that's right he's, he's got a point problem fixed oh look look and my mom is actually not in my truck anymore she went home she had enough time she had enough time to go home and switch vehicles look at this Stuck at Lowe's. So was that pretty crazy? How my brother just gave me the keys and just left. We turned yes. off the car. We turned. We got here. We turned off the car, and Angel's like, "Yo, make sure you bring your keys." I'm like, "All right, no problem." I go back in there and I look for the keys. I'm like, "Angel, did you just give my mom the keys that starts this car?" He was like, "Nah, what are you talking about? I gave them to you. You gave them to her." I said, what? <laughs> In reality, it's this guy's fault. Wow. <laughs> How does it feel to be back on the road again? It feels great. Now it's raining and we might hit that traffic. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, over here in, in, uh, in my certain part of uh, South Carolina, the people drive really uh, 
really crazy. I, I like crazy, but uh, if there's an accident on one road and then you go around the corner and there's another accident on the other road, I, I consider that to be crazy. There's two different crazies. There's not knowing what you're doing crazy and there's precision crazy. Yeah, I guess you could figure out which one you like. Yeah, yeah, which one you like or which one, which area are you in? I'm pretty sure they have either one of the two. The things that are gonna be happening and I'm gonna try my 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 best. I'm gonna put every every little inch of, uh, of willpower into making these videos and uh, just taking you along this journey. Now, a few things that I wanna get across is, is as soon as we get to this new spot, I'm gonna have time to sit down. Of course, I need to figure everything out, but I'm gonna have time to do screen sharing. I'm gonna have time to answer questions. Um, once a week, I would like to take uh, one of you guys, if you guys have a problem, and it's a good enough problem and it, it's a you know like I told you in the beginning of my videos I'm, I'm not a professional at all I'm working my way up through the ranks and I'm taking my steps of those thousand steps I want to do like one of those uh, you know like uh, help the audience out so if somebody has a problem and it's something that I feel like I can tackle and teach to the best of my extent or to give you guys another opinion on how to go about it I definitely want to do that in the near future um, I don't see it being too far in the future because as soon as we set up the shop, you know, we're going to be ready to go. Uh, when we get there, I'm going to show you guys the shop before, after, setting up. I'm going to make a couple parts video of us setting up the shop because at this point, um, there's some preview photos of, of the space we're going to be renting. But um, I see the office space is a little small. We may have to push that back out and extend that. The I'm not sure the surface of the floor. We might have to grind that down and throw epoxy so that way it fills all the uneven spots so we get, you know, some nice flush machining. There's a lot of things that we're going to take you along. Um, but until then, we have the bandsaw blade. And I managed to sneak in some markers in there because uh, the ones I have at the shop are drying up. And I just wanted a fresh new pack. So I'll see you guys when we get back to the shop. All right, guys. Back at the shop, we finally got the blade in, the saw, the saw blade in, and oops. <laughs> All right, this goes in there like that. What I was saying is, is this is a small little shop bandsaw, not the most strongest in the world, but I'll tell you what, it definitely does work. And for small stuff, you know, like this quarter inch titanium, it'll run through it. It'll take a little while, but it'll run through it. And uh, at least you have your material cut, right? If you can't get like a $3,000, $4,000 one, this little, this little one right here from when, uh, I think it was like a couple hundred bucks, probably like 300 bucks around there. I'm not sure of the exact size. I mean, uh, the exact price, but uh, this little guy does the job. So you just, there's two wheels here. Throw that in. Fold it. Iron it. Push it. Push it through this one. Feed it through this one. must have been really, really dull. There it is. 
kind of don't like the way how it hits the ground like that. When we get to the shop, we'll set up something. We'll set up something cool on the floor. That way we don't get chips on the floor, wood on the floor. Set up something to absorb the shock. Because uh, in all reality, if that was brass, we probably would have had a nasty ding on the corner or something. All right, guys. Time to get to work. Hey, guys. This is Lab here. It's Cad Lab here.